Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be another monthly favorites and let's get started to it, shall we? So for the first product, you will pr probably know that I've been talking and I've been using it over and over again. It is the Tanaka Lime Face Mask. Okay, this is the Lime version. I really really love this face mask guys. Like, it's not those kind of face masks where uh, you use it like once a week or anything. I mean, you can use it once a week. But for me, I go crazy on this mask. I think uh, this is my fourth top. Okay, if you watch my previous uh, empty video, I think I have two or three tops of empties on this. So it shows that this is my one of my holy grail item which for me to have a holy grail item is very rare because I'm the kind of person that I really that like I really like to change up my product and I like to try something new. So for me to stick to one product is very very rare. So despite all that, I keep on repurchasing it again and again just because that I can actually wear this every day. Especially if I am at home and I have no makeup on, this baby here is actually gonna be my makeup when I'm at home. So what it does is, you know when you don't put on makeup and then you have a feeling of like a greasiness on your face, especially if you're oily person like me. I'm more to combination I guess. Um, I'm oily and my T-zone and the rest of my face are basically normal. Usually when I feel like I have too much oil building up on my face when I have no makeup on, uh, this is when I actually grab this and put it on my face and it will actually control the amount of oil or it, rather it will actually absorb the oil that is producing on my face and at the same time it is also a natural whitening agent on the face so obviously this thing will actually lighten your scarrings and acne scarrings or whatever marks you have on a face it's gonna be like a natural agent for that this is why I really like it and the smell guys it really smells like lime like not even kidding you I mean uh, for some people maybe they don't like that kind of smelling but for me I prefer this than the other rest of the line. It is also can be natural sun protection for your face and sometimes I do apply this at night before I go to sleep and the next day I wash it off. So it can be your night face mask until tomorrow and then you wash it off. This is why I like it. You, you can use it practically every day. I really recommend and it's not expensive at all. I purchased this big tub here for $2.50 or $3 at most. I bought this at my neighborhood. Uh, I've got Myanmar neighborhood shops around me so I think I have three or two shops around me so I got this off there but if you bought online this thing is probably gonna cost you $12, $10, $12, $15 I don't know how much they check out the price but I really recommend you guys to get this guys because it's very inexpensive and it works wonders that's why I love it alright so the next item is a makeup remover and this one right here is from Shiseido Shishido, however you pronounce that, okay? So I mentioned in the previous month favorites, uh, my eye and lip makeup remover favorite at that time was uh, from Mary Kay. So I mentioned that once I ran out of the Mary Kay, I'm gonna try the Shishido one. So this one here is in travel size. I still have a few more of this and I can say that it works exactly the same as the American one and it doesn't sting my eyeball so it's very good. Uh, there is quite a little a little bit of scent to this. I'm not sure if it's oil free but it doesn't mention that it's oil free or whatever not. It is very gentle and it removes my eye and lips makeup regardless of they being waterproof or whatnot. So yeah I really enjoy this as well. So the next item is an eye primer. Okay, this one right here is from Innisfree. It looks something like that. Very simple packaging. And initially, I did not fancy the kind of eye primer where it's very tacky to the eyes. I really hate that kind of feeling. But then recently, I prefer eye primers that are tacky to my eyes because obviously it's gonna hold your eyeshadow a lot longer so I've been gravitating to using this and it has like a dome shaped applicator like so and it's very tacky I can't remember how much I purchased it for but it 
I purchased it off the Innisfree counter at I think it's at Bugis Junction if I'm not wrong I can't remember but yeah I've been using this quite a lot in the month of February next item moving on is the Australis Metallics cream eyeshadow okay I think you have seen me use this on the center of my lids or over all over the lids to give like a pop of glitter and I tell you guys that you need to have at least three shades from this line right here because it is going to make your eyeshadow look complete if you are going for like a like a, you want a pop of glitter on your eyeballs so this is very very good for you guys I think it's not that expensive as well I think it's about I don't know 14 ish or or lower than that I can't re can I can't remember how much I got it for but then I always use the shade pearl jamming because it's like a it's like a gold shade like that so gold glitters will match any eyeshadow not even kidding and it's very creamy okay it is very creamy the texture is very moussey and it's swatched like that can you guys see how beautiful the shade is like I'm not even exaggerating it's so pretty and the thing with it, this is you use with your finger to apply is much more better because sometimes using a brush it doesn't really pick up the product I don't know why but it's just like that but other than that I really like this guys and it's very inexpensive so go and get some of this okay please next item is going to be the one MMF foundation the one minute miracle foundation okay it looks something like that okay I have done a first impression on this where I initially do not really like it because of the fact that they claim that it's one shade fits all but and then it will oxidize into your skin color which never happened for me it is it literally gave me like a white cast on my face and my face and neck doesn't match so what I do is I do still enjoy using this I use this as a highlight to the center of my face like obviously you highlight your forehead your nose your your underneath the eyes and your chin area and of course this part here so that works nicely and it brightens the center of your face very nicely and the fact that this thing can also act as a, as a you know concealer if you need you know to hide whatever you need to hide on your face this thing really gives a very very good coverage okay it's very full coverage guys and it's like what $15 only so I really recommend you guys to get this if you are on a budget and you need a good concealer that is very high coverage look for this it's $15 I can link to the seller down below where you can get this for yourself okay and I'm actually using it to the center of my face as you can see and I actually replaced it with my where is it LA Pro Concealer which is this one right here so I actually switch up from using this and I use this for the month of February so I really enjoy this guys I like it but not for the all over the face because no it doesn't match me so the so next item is an eyeliner and this one right here is the Kylie eyeliner I don't know what is it called so it's the Kylie double eyeliner it has dual ends one is a brown and the other one is a black and one is a fat end Okay, and the other side is like a thinner end like that so what I like about this is that there are not many cheap eyeliner out there that has a very thin line like this one this one right here is sent to me by uh, Beauty in Wonderland and she is selling it for six dollars and there is two ends one is black and one is brown one is fat and one is thin so if you are just starting out to draw eyeliners, you can use either end but I can obviously tell you that the thin side is gonna be your best friend because you just need 
to draw out your eyeliner in a small tiny strokes to get that flawless alana on flake kind so do check beauty in wonderland out and like i said this one is six dollars six dollars you get like what two eyeliner in one six dollars go for it okay next item is a setting spray this is from Motif Cosmetic and I believe you guys have seen me haul about this I can link to the haul video right here if you haven't checked it out, go and check it out I did some uh, crazy hauling of the Motif Cosmetic which were again kindly sent to me by Ka Ida Osman so I will link down her details when you, where you can actually purchase this this is the Motif No More Shine Setting Spray and guys I apply this after I do my uh, contouring and placing of my concealer and whatnot. Then I will actually set everything with a loose powder. After I use my loose powder, I will actually spray this on top of the loose powder and let it dry. And then I tell you guys, after I finish the whole of my makeup, I will actually either use this or another setting spray but usually I use this because this is no more shine it's meant for oily skin so it makes me less oily or almost not that oily than my usual me if that makes sense using this almost makes me no need to blot the whole day I'm not even kidding you that's why I think I it's my newfound love okay the no more shine setting spray and they claim that your makeup will stay on for 16 hours guys 16 go and check it out if you are looking for or you are trying a new setting spray this one is for you guys and I like it next item is I just reviewed this on Sunday if you haven't seen a review on this hairspray right here the link will be down here and what this is 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 actually a hair perfume or a hair mist perfume okay it's it's gonna make your hair smell nice like obviously because it's a perfume meant for your hair but not only that this is gonna protect your hair from heat damage like if you have the itchy hand and you style your hair with heat like curling iron like hair straightener like bro drying your hair so this thing is like a heat protector for your hair you spray this prior to those heaty tools that you're gonna use and it's gonna protect you from damaging your hair even more and it will also protect you off the harmful ray of the sun which will dry out your hair and make it brittle and whatnot not only that for those hijabsters you know you are covering your head all the time so if you don't want those nasty little smell spray this and I tell you when you open your head scarf it's gonna be nice smelling so and on top of that those people who like voluminizing hair this will also give volume for your hair so that's why I really like this as well okay all the details on where you can get this as well will be down in the in description box so you better check it out after it is okay next item is the Kylie Royal Peach palette and this one I already have done a review swatch on this palette and you can check it out over here as well it has 12 shades 2 4 6 8 10 12 and they are all very gorgeous and highly pigmented and this one is actually for $14 and you can get them from GBR elegance and the link is down below as well I really really love this because it's very everyday friendly and I'm using it right now and it's very sweet peachy kind of color and I put like a little bit of blue down there so it's great for everyday and you can even use the pink shade in here as a blush not kidding so it's very versatile as well in my opinion so the last and final thing is my bullet journal it's not really a makeup thing but I, it's still my favorite of February since I use it the whole month as well I started in January actually I started in February and then I put whatever I have in my phone and then put it inside here so this is how it looks like a bullet journal is a, a planner that you customize to your own needs so this is mine I have yet to do more pages that suits my need but for now uh, these are all 
what I did to my bullet journal. Okay, so that's my January. Okay, I mainly use the this kind of format so I can see. I can see better, and that's my period tra tracker, and this is my February page. Okay, and then that's the February thingy that I did. So, and then there are quotes that I put that I feel that I need a motivation on myself and whatever not. So I put it there and then this is my March which I am not yet done filling in all those details that I need to fill in. So this having a notebook having a notebook really 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 helps me to get organized. So I really enjoy my bullet journal and I'm still thinking on what else I should be putting in my bullet journal. So if you guys don't know what is bullet journal Go and search on YouTube. There are plenty of tutorial on bullet journal that can get you very hooked up on it. So that is it for my February favorites, and I hope you guys actually enjoyed me sharing my monthly favorites video so far because my video can get very lengthy at times because I just want to sit and talk to you guys like you know talking to a friend and not chasing time to end the video you know because I don't know then it beats the purpose of me being on YouTube and I want to talk to you guys that's the main thing okay that is it guys for this video if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't to see more videos from me and I will talk to you guys again in my next video okay guys bye